Hello and welcome to Introduction to Nature Journaling. My name is Amanda Jorgensen. I am a nature illustrator and artist based here in Seattle, Washington. I love just about anything and everything pertaining to nature. This can range from insects. Ow, what is biting me? Ants. Plants to birds to bears. Just about anything that humans have not made, I really enjoy drawing. In today's video, we'll be focusing on how to set up your nature journal, what information to put in your nature journal, asking ourselves what questions we should ask when observing nature, whether it be in your backyard, local park, or national forest, and learning how to make a personal connection to nature. All you need for a nature journal is a sketchbook, pencils, sharpener, and eraser. Nothing more. It's really important before you start drawing to look at your nature item at all different angles from all different views. That means you close up or far away, what kind of unique features there are. But it's really important that you sit and look at your object before you start drawing because otherwise you'll get lost because you don't know what the whole object looks like. After you've taken some time to look at your object from various angles, now we have to ask ourselves some questions about your nature item. First, let's talk about the question of what you notice about your nature object. What you notice is what is true about this object. It's nothing that anyone or you can make up about it. What you see about the object, the color, how it feels, how it smells, how it tastes, though I wouldn't recommend that, not a good idea. Anything that's fact. For example, my piece of moss here, things that I could say are, I notice it is very dry. In fact, you can hear how dry it is. I notice that it is a very pretty light green color. Um, it has some yellow in it. I notice that it has some little leaves or arms that have forks in them, almost like a snake tongue. And there are a lot of those. And I notice that it probably fell from the tree I'm sitting under. What other things can you think of? The next question is, I wonder. What are things that you're asking yourself questions about this? I wonder about this piece of moss, why it's shaped the way it is. It's almost like a flat ball. Someone stepped on it or something. Why normally it hangs from a tree? What kind of relationship does this piece of moss have with that tree? I wonder if there are different colors of moss. Is it just this color or is it just specific to this kind of moss? I wonder why we have moss at all. Does it serve a purpose? What other I wonders can you think of? Asking yourself what this reminds you of is really important because this will help you build a connection to this item. It won't feel as mm, strange. Let's think of our personal experiences that we've had with your nature item, as well as um, something else that you've seen in life. Moss reminds me of a beard. It also reminds me a lot of when I grew up in Alaska and we went hiking and we would find these on the hiking trails with my family. So every time I see moss, I think about my family, which is kind of funny. So it really depends on what this reminds you of, and it can be just about anything.
The first thing we need to record in our journal is metadata. What is metadata? Metadata is information about the date, time, location of where you are and where you found the object, as well as weather and time of year. Why is this important? Not only does it give you a timeline of your own growth in journaling, it makes your information historically relevant and useful. The next step in your nature journal is to draw your object. You can do one drawing or you can do multiple drawings from different angles, but it's totally up to you. Be sure to leave yourself enough space so that you can draw as much or as large as you'd like. Important reminder, nature journaling is not just about making a pretty picture. It's about trying to get the important details of an object down in written and drawn form. Next part to having a successful nature journal is adding words, descriptions, labels, sentences, paragraphs, whatever works for you. Why do we need words instead of just drawing? Writing helps in describing elements and behaviors in nature, which drawing might not be able to capture, such as animal movements or personal feelings or reflections of what you're seeing. Not only that, but when we write things down, we need to be more specific than if we were to keep the thoughts in our heads. This helps with memory and helps with understanding what you're seeing in nature. Scale is also a nice thing to include. This shows the size of the object you are looking at. If you don't have a way to measure, draw a picture of the object compared to the size of your hand, foot, height, whatever works for you. It's just a way to show how big the object is in comparison to you. While you're writing, remember to add notes about colors, texture, smell, and shape. Sometimes things will have multiple numbers of something. Be sure to add numbers, maybe count leaves, arms, legs, whatever you're looking at. But be specific. A successful journal uses words, pictures, numbers, and talks about interesting features about nature. Also, remember to ask yourself what you notice, what you wonder about the item, and what it reminds you of. This is what my completed journal page looks like. I've added the metadata at the top. I have shown different angles of my objects via drawing on the side, the bottom, and hanging from the tree, and I've added a good deal of description using labels pointing to aspects of my object. What's important is, is that you keep practicing and honing in on this because practice makes perfect.